In this video, I'm going to give you seven tips to boost your blockchain CV and make it really attractive for blockchain companies. And we are going to do this by reviewing the blockchain CV of a member of Eat the Blocks. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to get your first blockchain job. The author of this blockchain CV asked me to do this review, and if you are interested in doing the same thing for your CV, you can send me your CV and we can review it in another video. I changed the name and personal details of the original author, so don't be surprised if you see John Doe and mentions of Springfield in Colorado. This doesn't exist. <laughs> So tip number one, have a title with a clear positioning. At the top of your CV, you need to have a clear and concise title that defines you as a blockchain developer. This is the first thing that recruiters will see and they will often base the decision just on that. In this CV, there isn't really a title, but instead this blog called Career Objective. I am a blockchain developer with hands-on experience of designing, developing, and maintaining decentralized application as well as full stack application. Yeah, that works. So you can choose to have a positioning more or less specific here. If you want to be very general, you can just say blockchain developer. Otherwise, you can be more specific and mention that you are a smart contract developer or that you are more focused on front-end integration with smart contracts. It's also good to mention what are the main technology that you specialize in, for example, Ethereum, Solidity, and Web3. And finally, you can also mention if you have any specialization in a specific business domain like DeFi or decentralized finance. Tip number two, avoid cluttering your CV with too many social media. Here at the top, you can see that there are a tons of social media handles, Medium, LinkedIn, GitHub, etc. That's really too much. There is no way that recruiters would be interested in so many different social media. Also, since we want to save space in CV and directly go to the point, I wouldn't waste valuable space for social media at all, actually. You can always put a link to your GitHub and LinkedIn in the email where you send your CV. And that's more convenient for people to click on the link that way. Tip number three, only list the most relevant technologies. The mistake I see in many blockchain CVs, including this one, is to put a ton of tech keywords in them, including a lot that are not very relevant. For example, here you have React.js and Svelte and Angular and Vue and WordPress. For WordPress, that's a CMS, so it's irrelevant for blockchain applications. Then for all the front-end frameworks like React, they are relevant, but I don't recommend to put all of them because first, there is no way the author of this CV has professional level skills in all of these frameworks. Probably that he specialized in one and only did a few tutorials for the others. Second, all of these frameworks do pretty much the same thing and the company probably only uses one of them, so it doesn't really add value to list them all. For backend, generally speaking, backend languages are less relevant for blockchain applications because blockchain applications are front-end heavy. In some cases, you can still have a small backend, but it's not a good idea to mention too many languages because recruiters cannot know which one you really master and probably don't have a need for all these languages anyway. So make sure that you don't list too many technologies. Just stick to the one you really master at a professional level. It will always be more impactful to have a reduced and focused set of technology listed here instead of just dropping all the tech keywords under the sun. Tip number four, put your job experiences or projects first. In a CV, you make claims. Claims like, hey, I'm an expert in technology XYZ. Everybody can make claims, it's easy. What's harder is to back up these claims with proof. And in a CV, you back up your claim with the past experiences you've had, either jobs or projects you've worked on. So I would actually put the job experience slash project section just after the title and the skill section after. Recruiters are more likely to be impressed by interesting experiences that prove that you have skills X, Y, Z instead of a skills block that just make claim that you have skills X, Y, Z. Also, you don't need to put all your job experiences and project. 
Here there are too many projects and it's hard to know what are the ones that really matters. You have to be more selective and put only a few that are really relevant and explain clearly your contribution for each. This way your past experiences are going to be much more impactful for recruiters. Tip number five, have several CVs. So after hearing the previous advice, you might be like, okay, I get that a more specialized CV is more impactful, but how do I deal with the fact that several companies have different needs? That's a good question. And the answer is to customize your CV. You don't need to create one CV per company. That would be too much. But a good middle ground is to have maybe three or four CVs for different positioning. For example, one CV can be for general blockchain development and another one more specific to smart contract development, etc. Tips number six, keep it short, one page maximum. Recruiters are really, really busy. They will probably only gloss over your CV for 15 to 30 seconds before deciding if they like you or not. They will never bother to go through several pages of CV. So be concise, put only the most relevant information so that it fits on one page. Tip number seven, keep a clean and simple style. I don't recommend to really innovate for the format that's risky and it doesn't really add much value. You want to optimize for readability, consistency and simplicity. The style of this CV is not too bad, but I wouldn't put colors here and here. That's not really pretty. Also, the size of fonts is a bit inconsistent and I would align everything on the left. It makes it more readable. And for the bonus tip when it comes to the education and certification section, actually these are not so relevant for blockchain because in the tech industry in general people rely more on your actual experience. So next I want you to do two things. First I want to know what is the hardest thing when you create a CV. Let me know in the comments down below. And second I want you to redo your blockchain CV based on the tips I just gave you in this video so that you can be ready to get your first well-paid blockchain job. If you want to hear other awesome advice for your career in the blockchain industry, I have a playlist with a ton of video about this, so check it out. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.